Hi boys and girls, this week we're going to work on the skill of catching a ball we toss to ourselves. Three things I want you to think about when you're catching. Eyes, reach, and give. First, your eyes are going to follow the ball that you are catching the whole time. It's going to watch, your eyes are going to watch the ball all the way until it gets into your hands. The second thing I want you to think about is reaching with your arms. So you're going to reach up, you can reach down or reach out. Try not to catch the ball against your body. You want to reach with your arms. Number three, give. So once you've caught the ball with, uh, by reaching, then you're going to bend your elbows and bring it into your body. So eyes follow, arms reach, and then give. Bring it into your body. We talked at the beginning of the year about our hand position when we catch. And if you see this girl, I divided her body in half with this white line. And you can imagine an imaginary line that divides your body in half right at your waist where your belt loops would be or the elastic on your pants. If the ball is above that imaginary line, anywhere from your waist all the way up to the sky, your thumbs are closest together. So show me, thumbs close together, start at your waist, and any time the ball is from your waist all the way up to the sky, your thumbs are gonna be close together, just like this. Now, if the ball is below your waist, so now the ball is below this white line, your pinkies are gonna be close together. So you have to change your hand position and your pinkies are gonna be touching when you catch. So the ball is below your waist, your pinkies are touching. Good. Now the challenges, I have 10 challenges for you to do today and you can pick any object around your house to use for those 10 challenges. The lighter an object is, like the shopping bag, it's gonna float and give you more time to catch it. Something that's heavier, like a tennis ball, is gonna fall faster and it'll be a little more difficult to catch. Another thing to think about when picking an object to catch, something that's squishy, like the bean bag or the squishy ball, will be a little bit easier to grab onto and squeeze compared to a hard ball. So you pick an object that is challenging for you. Um, to be a good catcher, you have to give yourself a good throw. So when you're doing these challenges, you're gonna to be tossing the ball to yourself. I want you to think about your palm facing up. If you twist your wrist and it's gonna go crazy, don't do a big arm back motion. The uh, lower the ball is, the easier it's gonna to be to catch. The higher you throw it, the more difficult it's gonna become. So you challenge yourself, but make sure you're catching the ball. If you're throwing it and it's hitting the ground first, then try, really think about um, these cues, eyes reach and give, but also think about your toss and make sure it's a little bit lower and your arm is in a nice controlled motion the whole time. All right, let's get started with those challenges. Oops, I forgot to tell you, you're gonna try each challenge 10 times before you move on to the next one. After you've finished all of your challenges, go into Google Classroom or send me an email and let me know which challenge was the most fun and which challenge was the most difficult. Okay, now we're ready. Have fun. All right, we're gonna get started with our 10 challenges. Remember, you're gonna try each challenge 10 times before moving on to the next one. Our very first challenge you're gonna try is where you're gonna to toss the ball below your head and catch it with two hands. It looks like this. The ball is below my head, I'm using two hands. Your challenge you're gonna try is tossing the ball above your head and catching it with two hands. Remember, the higher you toss it, the bigger the chance. Next challenge, we're going to toss the ball, clap, then catch. Toss, clap, catch. Keep your eye on the ball. The whole challenge, you're gonna toss the ball, touch your head, and catch.
go into the next two challenges. Instead of catching with two hands, you're gonna to try to catch with one. Still think about your hand placement. When you catch, it's above, your, from your waist above, your thumb is closest to your body. And when the ball, when you catch the ball below your waist, your pinky is closest to your body. Not like this, pinky is closest to your body. Let's give it a try. Right hand only. Catching it above my waist, my thumb is closest to my body. And when I catch it below my waist, my pinky is closest to my body. We're gonna do the same thing, but now we're gonna try it with our left hand. Above my waist, my thumb is closest to my body. And when it's below my waist, my pinky is closest to my body. You see which one is harder, catching with your right hand or catching Challenge. with your left. You're gonna toss it with your right hand and then catch it with your left hand and then toss it with your left hand and catch it with your right hand. Go ahead and give challenge. You're going to toss the ball, touch the ground, then catch. Earlier, I said the lower the, your toss, the easier it will be to catch. In this one, you may need to toss it a little bit higher to give yourself time to bend down, touch the ground, and catch the ball. If you're inside like me and your ceilings are low, uh, this will prove to be a little bit more difficult. If you're outside or have higher ceilings, toss it a little bit higher this time. Toss, touch the ground and catch. Toss, touch the ground, and catch. You go ahead. In this next challenge, I'm gonna to toss the ball under my leg and catch it with either my opposite hand or I can toss it under my leg and catch it with the same hand. So I toss under my leg, catch with my opposite hand, or I can toss it under my leg and catch it with the hand that I throw it with. And try, maybe if this side is difficult, try your other side, same thing. You can catch it with the same hand or you can catch it with the hand that you did not throw with. This is a fun one, go ahead and try. This is challenge number 10. You're going to balance the ball on the top part of your foot by curling your toes up and then you're going to flip the ball into the air and catch it with both hands. If this is too hard, you can use a pair of socks or you can use a bean bag on your foot, which will be easier to balance and easier to flip up into the air. Go ahead and give it a Great try. Great job, boys and girls, completing all 10 challenges. Now, you're going to complete all 10 challenges again by either making them more difficult or a little bit easier. You decide if the challenges were too hard, make them a little bit easier, and if they were too easy, make them a little bit harder. To make them easier, you're gonna add a bounce to each challenge. So if I, the challenge that we did tossing it from our right hand and catching it with our left hand, tossing with our left hand and catching with our right hand, if that was too difficult, you're gonna add a bounce. So I toss it, let it bounce, and catch it with the other hand. Toss it, let it bounce, catch it with the other hand. You're still doing the same things. Your eyes are still watching the ball and you're still reaching with your arms. Don't use your body to trap the ball against it to catch it. If you found that this challenge was too easy, then you're gonna toss it against the wall to make it a little bit more difficult. Please ask your parents before throwing anything against the wall. And if you're outside, please make sure you're not too close to the street. So to make this from one hand to the other more challenging, I add the wall. Tossing with my left hand, catching with my right, tossing with my right hand, catching with my left. So you'll go through all 10 challenges, and if some of the challenges were hard and some were difficult, then now you know how to make them easier or more challenging. After you've done uh, all 10 for the second time, go on to Google Classroom and let me know which one was your favorite and which one was the most difficult. Looking forward to seeing you guys next week.